Welcome, I am Mr. Clock, the creator of the Arma 3 Object Builder add-on for Blender. In this video, I would like to talk and showcase the RTM animation export process. RTM animations are mainly used for character movements, character animations, and for example, uh, weapon handling animations. So to showcase the RTM export functionalities, I downloaded the Arma 3 uh, character rig for bl uh, for Blender, which is a very popular inverse kinematics rig created in Blender. And I quickly made a very blocky um, reload animation for the sample weapon in the provided blend file, which you can see here. Uh, if I play the animation, it, it's, it's basically an AR-15 type weapon. Very simple blocky reload animation. So the first thing we will have to have to do to export an animation, an RTM animation, is to make sure that we have a skeleton definition in the rigging tool panel of the add-on. Now, by default, there will be none. Um, if you are using, for example, the armor rig, or or your custom armor character animation, and you are wanting to use the default armor skeleton, which is the OFP to man skeleton. The add-on has a built-in option to quickly add this definition to the tool. Now, what this um, what this definition is used for is to filter what bones the tool should export to the RTM. So, if you look at, for example, an IK skeleton, it will usually have a bunch of control bones that are not necessarily part of the bone structure that the exported skeleton should have, but they are used in Blender for for controlling the IK rig and as we can see with the armor rig we have a bunch of these bones with an at symbol as the first character and these are not part of the armor skeleton so we don't want to export them so what the tool does is it looks at the skeleton definition which has all the bones uh, and the uh, bone parent uh, relationships defined and compares the names of all of the all of the armature uh, bones and if the bone is not in this skeleton definition it will not export it to the RTM. So with that being said we have the OFP to man skeleton, we do have the armor rig in the blend file so all that we have to do is to select the armor rig itself and then go to blender import sorry file export animation RTM and so here we will have a bunch of options. The first one is to export this as a static pose and so we will check with this one first. Um, what this will do is it will take the currently selected frame in Blender and export it as a static pose. A very com common use case might be uh, when creating weapon hand placement animations. So if you if you make a custom weapon and you make a reload animation for it, you might want to export the very first frame of the reload animation, which is usually just the holding stance, to export it as a hand placement animation or hand animation, and that should be a static pose. So in this case, this would be the weapon standard weapon holding animation. So we'll make mark it a static pose use the OFP man skeleton, which is this definition here, and then let's create it um, static. So this will be the static, we will compare them later. So this exported two frames, essentially just the same frame twice. So let's go ahead and check out the other options. So if you don't want to have a static pose, we can um, enable the force lowercase option. This will um, turn all the bone names to lowercase. Um, you can enable it, disable it. I usually have it enabled. It is enabled by defaulting in, uh, indeed. Uh, but if you have this enabled and want to use the armatory sample character to validate that the export animation looks right, then you probably won't be able to because the bone selection names will be differently cased. We'll have different lowercase, uppercase character in the P3D file 
than the RTM. So if you want to actually debug, then uncheck this one. Otherwise, you can leave this open, uh, leave this um, enabled. So then the next settings we have to uh, change is the start and end frames. This should match up to the start and end frame range of the animation. Uh, make sure that you actually have this properly set. Otherwise, the animation will be squished or stretched in this range. By default, the source is set to sample with step. So what this will do is it will go from the starting frame to the end frame and export every second frame well, in this case, every second frame as a separate frame into the RTM. So if we um, export this step and we set it to two, so this will um, get us a uniform frame spacing in the RTM with fairly, f fairly frequent frames. So if we have 75 frames, we should expect somewhere around um, 30, 37, 38 frames in the exported RTM, depending on how the rounding goes sometimes. So we will export this to RTM again, and let's look at the other options. The next option is the sample with count. So in, instead, of, um, instead of going every second frame, what this will do is it will look at the range we have uh, we give it a count of how many frames we want to export and it will try to uh, sample as many frames in the range. Um, now this, the actual exported number might be a bit above or below this number, one or two frames above and below uh, due to how this works. Um, but just be careful that the count can't really be higher than the actual range, obviously. Uh, because Blender only has um, whole numbered frames, you can't go sub uh, sub number with the method currently used for export. So I will quickly do this as uh, count. So in this case, this will be 20, uh, 20 frames. So th this sh this would be equivalent to a sampling with a step of four, roughly. So let's export and then look at the final one. And for the final one, we have to do some more work. So the final option is to export a specific list of frames. And for that, we actually have to mark certain frames to export. And we can do that in the dope sheet. Uh, if we open the uh, open the side panel sidebar in the dope sheet, there is a, an RTM properties. Uh, section and this is where we could set a motion vector for the RTM mainly for running animations and also this is where you can add frames to the list of frames we want to export so for example if we for some reason and this is not a good advice but for some reason if you only want to export the specific keyframes in this animation so you can see that I have practically uh, two four six eight nine so I have nine keyframes in this animation. If you really want to only export these nine keyframes, then you have to mark them here. So let's go ahead and add each frame. Uh, the way to do that is to literally go to that frame in Blender and then click the plus icon. So I will add the 0, 20, 25, 35, 40, 45, 55, 60 and then 75 and as you can see it shows the index of the frame so this is what we can see in blender and this also calculates a uh, preliminary um, phase value so this is basically just the um, fractional fractional representation of these indices compared to the range so as you can see the first index which is uh, frame zero which is the starting starting frame is zero and then the last one which is 75 is one and the other ones are everything in between we can also add the range of frames here with steps and then we can also just clean this so we now we have the frames set up we can go to export rtm and finally change the source to list and this will just take those nine um, nine items from the frames list and we can export it and this is just nine frames. 
All right. So now that we have our separate outputs, we can actually compare them. So if uh, the one way to actually check this is to open up the Arma 3 sample character model and import the animation from matrices. So I will just quickly go ahead and go to my folder for this. And let's look at first the step one. So we exported this with a, with a sampling step of two. Um, and we can see that it exported 39 uh, frames in total. So the reason we get this, we had 75 frames, actually 76 frames because we were starting from zero. And then it also added uh, a negative 0.5 frame, which is just the base pose for, um, for us to see in Object Builder. Um, but uh, the RTM itself has only 38 frames in actuality. So we can actually um, scroll through the animation. Here we can see it's fairly smooth uh, with how many frames we have. And then, so this is this is the, the sample with step. And then if we delete all the animations, then let's check on the other one, which is the sample with count. So you can see this only exported 20. Uh, that's what we set. So in this case, it was perfectly fine. Um, this is, as I said, this is equivalent of, of sampling with four, roughly. So four steps. So as you can see, this animation is a lot more choppy. Um, it's not entirely smooth in game, so <laughs> usually it's better to sample with a smaller step like two or three. Um, so this is sample with count. We got the, the frame count we expected. So the final one is to check on the list one. And as we can see, it only has the nine frames we exported. So that's fine. And then we can actually, again, scroll through the frames. But as we can see, there is no interpolation between the frames here. So it's it's very blocky. It's literally jumping between the, the, fr the frames in the RTM. And then finally, we forgot to look at the base pose, um, the hand placement. So this is what we exported as a static pose. So if, if we import a static pose, you can see that it only has two frames and the two frames are essentially the same. They are just the, the, um, the specific frame we had in the blender when we clicked on the export. So this is how you, how you can export RTM animations. Um, it only exports to plain RTM format, uh, which is what's editable in Object Builder. It cannot export to binarized and you wouldn't really want to anyway. Thank you.